Hello. Hello. This is Lou and Lol's Travels and today we are we're on the Monzel Trail again but we're heading towards Wiredale because we're hoping to go down in, and walk around the Cheedale area. Yep, so let's go. bumped into a couple of past buyers um, and we were asking them where the stepping stones were. They did actually recommend going through the tunnel because apparently there's a little way on the left hand side did he say? Yeah it's you best can go. to come back up that way because it's quite slippy rather than heading downwards you can climb up it's a bit safer. So we're now making our way through the Cheetor tunnel So this part of the Monzel Trail and this tunnel, it, there's nobody around, unlike when you go the opposite way to the viaduct and headstone tunnel, it was packed, but yeah, it's just us in the tunnel alone. It's great. Woo! Right, so this is Cheetor number two tunnel. Right, so they are, on the advice of that other couple, we've come through three tunnels. We've come through Cheetor, Cheetor 2 and Russia Cutting Tunnel. Um, we've now come to the sign which says Cheedale, so we're going to head down into Cheedale now. Down we go. Right, so we've now reached the bottom of the stairs. And we're going left. So we survived the steps. Yeah, it was good, but I must admit I was a little bit scared. I thought that the spaces between the steps were quite big and I was scared that I might fall in the water, but I didn't. I was fine, I just kept walking. I suppose if you, if you put your foot in the water, it's just gonna get wet. Not well, yeah. <laughs> All right, and onwards. So we've been to the right of the water, all the way down, but shortly we'll be crossing over to the left side. So luckily enough we've just bumped into the same couple, same couple who advised us the first time. You can go up, there are some steps just back there to take you back to the Monzo Trail, but they said if you continue down here you'll come to a second set of stepping stones, so that's where we're heading right now. So we've just come over those steps there. Uh, there were a lot more of steps than the other first set of steps that we came across. And they were more together as well. So you could take your time on them a little bit more and uh, you know take pictures and stuff. Yeah, they were brilliant. Nice place for a spot of lunch. this hill there. We were warned. That bit that we've just challenged was quite treacherous. We've now got, what's this? A little, well, bridgey thing. 
And another little bridge. It's a bit wobbly. I've got to say that that walk was absolutely brilliant. Uh, the stepping stones, walking by the stream, um, the climbing, let's say, was treacherous, but it was still, you know, an experience in itself. Yeah, um, I mean, we've done a few walks this week, and this is definitely my sort of walk next to... I love being next to moving water, so this one's been right on my alley. And we made it without a map. But I must say to the couple, if you ever watch this, yeah, thank you, thank for you your very advice. much. Yeah, we saw them twice on this twice, journey, yeah. yeah, and they were lovely. So yeah, thank you. And they guided us, you know, to the, both the stone steps, told us where it got a bit rough and which way to go, mm. and that was really helpful. Yeah. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you next time for more of our uh, videos of Week in the Peaks. Yeah. See you next time. Thanks. Bye.